everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I've decided to film my June favourites for you guys and I cannot believe we are in the end of June I'm really excited right now because I work in a primary school and I work in the school office so basically I get the summer holidays off I get all the same holidays as the children so yeah it is only 15 more working get-ups until the six well it's seven weeks this year seven week summer holiday so i am so excited i can't wait i'm going on holiday and i'm looking forward to just having seven weeks to relax so thumbs up for 15 more working get-ups to go until the summer holiday anyway i'm going to stop bragging about my long summer holiday and get on with showing you my June favourites so yeah I've got some makeupy bits some beauty products and a perfume and then a random one so I'm gonna get started with the makeup bits so the first thing that I've been loving is this Arc de Triumph and it's Soap and Glory's eyebrow pencil so I've had this for a while but I've recently started reusing it because I've been really into trying to do my brows a bit more so basically it comes with two sides you've got the brown side which is for your eyebrows and then the highlight for underneath so it's just like a crayon it's fairly light I'll swatch it but I quite like that because you can make it darker if you keep going over it whereas if I went in there with a really dark pencil and then cocked it up it would look rubbish so I'm still not really confident with my eyebrows so I've decided that light pencil is the way forward and then I can make it a little bit darker and then again the highlighter for underneath really really pretty colour I will show you that's obviously it really dark but you can blend that out <clears throat> and you don't have to put that much on your eyebrows but yeah I've been really really loving that and in fact I like this highlight for underneath my eyebrows even more than I do the number seven one because this one I feel like it's a little bit um, thinner so you can really be precise where you put it but I'm still loving the number 7 highlighter for my cheeks so yes if you haven't tried this and you want to get more into your eyebrows definitely look at this if they still do it I don't know I've had this for a while but yeah have a look because it's really really good and it's definitely worth checking out if you want to experiment a little bit more with your eyebrows like I have the next makeup product I have been loving so much is this Lancome mascara and it's the Hypnos Drama one. I don't know if that's showing. Is that even showing? I don't know. Anyway, so this is just such a good mascara. Basically, when I left my old job, because I've recently started a new job, one of the parents who works at Boots bought me some amazing gifts and this was one of them and I tend to just stick to drug drugstore mascaras. I've tried Benefits mascara and I do love that but on a day to day basis I love drugstore mascaras, they do the job for me, they are okay. But basically she bought me this so I've been trying this out and I love it so much. I'll show you the wand, it looks like that's quite a cur curvy wand. And the, bristle, the, bristles, the bristles are quite soft. When you apply it, it instantly adds volume, curl and length to the lashes. You don't have to put a lot of coats on for this to look good. So I've been wearing it for work with a thin layer applied. And then for nights out or meals or things like that, things where you want to put a little bit extra into your look, I've been layering it up but it is the best mascara I've used in a long time so I may look to how much this is I'm not too sure I haven't actually looked but if any of you guys know let me know but I might get it again when I run out because it's really really good and depending on how much it is it's probably is worth splashing out on because you don't buy mascara an awful lot so yeah so that's the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara in the viewfinder that's not showing up so I don't know anyway that's that's that the last makeup product is a lipstick and it's the makeup revolution lipstick now these lipsticks are super duper cheap I think they're a pound so I went a bit crazy and bought quite a few but this one I've really really been enjoying I've got it on today and it does it say the color divine and it just looks like that and this is matte lipstick so it looks, I'll show you a swatch. 
it's almost like a corally pinky colour which is just perfect for the summer I've never really used a matte lipstick before but I really like it it's staying power is okay I tend to wait to work and then you can touch it up at lunchtime um, but yeah <clears throat> I really like this mascara uh, mascara lipstick I really like this lipstick because it is really wearable I'm not one to wear crazy bold lipsticks every day I'm just not that confident yet with makeup but I do like this colour and I find it works well with my skin tone and yeah I just really like it so that's the lipstick that I'm wearing today and I will definitely be picking up more Makeup Revolution lipsticks because they are good and they are cheap so yeah thumbs up for cheap lipstick yeah next on to beauty products I'm going on to <clears throat> is the first thing is this Dove let's have a look pure care dry oil hair mask now I picked this up from Superdrug and I have used it an awful lot and it's nearly gone which makes me sad well in fact it pretty much is gone isn't it I don't think I'm gonna get much out of that <clears throat> but it smells so nice I picked it up because I wanted a nice hair mask um, for my hair like I said before I am trying to grow my hair so I'm having it cut a lot less but I am aware I need it cutting but I just kind of got this to help me out between having it cut it smells really nice it's a really thick consistency so it goes on to your hair really well I tend to leave it on for about five or ten minutes whilst I'm in the shower and then once I take it off my hair feels so so soft it smells really nice and I do feel like my hair is in slightly better condition for using it so if you are looking for a hair mask I would definitely look at picking that up because it's not too expensive and I feel like it does a good job and one thing I love is when your hair smells really really nice and that does the job so yeah I'm going to um, be repurchasing that again I think next is a shower gel body wash that I've been using and it is the Boots Extracts Cocoa Butter so I got given this as a Christmas present I believe and I've just been trying to work my way through some of my products that I have and yeah I haven't really ever used that many Boots Extract products and I know that they're fairly cheap and this Cocoa Butter one is one I probably would have picked up myself and it smells so it's all sticky because it's been in the shower but it smells really really nice it's actually quite moisturizing um on the body and i just really like it so yeah i might look at picking up that again or maybe another scent that they do because i have been loving that quite a lot lately now two moisturizers that i've been loving for different reasons the first one is this soap and glory sugar crush moisturizer now this is only the smaller pot, you can get them in the bigger pots and things um, but again this is probably given to me in a gift set for Christmas or something but this is by far my favourite Soap and Glory scent, the Sugar Crush one it's fairly new and it's just, let me see what it says it's got in it Shea and Cocoa Nut Balm, Lime and Almond Oils and Kiwi Water Juice so it just smells so nice it's really refreshing it smells really light it's a thick consistency which again I really really like because it just keeps the moisture keeps your legs moisturized for you know 24 hours I really really like it I would probably say this is a definitely a summer scent it's probably not a Christmassy wintery scent so it's going to be perfect for summer so I might try and get another one of these for my holiday because again running out I haven't got much left this is sad anyway another moisturizer that I've been loving is <coughs> this Palmer's cocoa butter formula now this is the one with an instant let's have a look no a natural bronze not instant um so basically I've been putting it on every probably every other day um just to try and build up a bit of a natural tan I used to be a sunbed freak I used to love sunbeds and then really I realized that they're not that good for your skin um, there is a lot of health warnings with them so I decided to just go for a body lotion with tanning because to me fake tan I do it on a night out or if I'm going out to a special occasion but it's not something I particularly want to do every other day or every few days because I find it quite a long process tanning drying 
everything. So I figured I would try this. Now the first time I used it, I didn't really like it because I was quite patchy and I didn't, I wasn't sure. But I tried it again and um, <coughs> I just realised you just have to take your time a little bit more when applying it, which is which obvious really, I don't know why I didn't think of it. So yeah, I just basically apply it, make sure I get in between my fingers and thumbs and I just even rub it on my palms just to kind of di distribute it, distribute it evenly. And yeah, it's basically just taking a little bit more time than you would with an average body lotion. But it doesn't take that long either. And it does give a nice tan, I feel. So yes, I've been really loving this. And it smells slightly like tan the next day. But then it does, the smell does go away. So I'm not going to lie, it's a bit tan smelling. But you know, you can't have it all, can you? No, and it's not that expensive. I'm not too sure how much it was, but it was probably about £5 or something like that. I'm not too sure. So, yes. Next, I will be talking about my simple, kind to skin. Now, I think, is it micellar water? That's a guess. I could be wrong. But basically, I've heard a lot about the Garnier one, but I wanted to try the simple one because I love simple products so much. Again, they're nice and affordable, which is a theme going on in this video. And yeah, so basically I'm a big face wipe junkie. I love face wipes and I like to take my makeup off with face wipes before I wash my face properly. And when I saw this, it says cleanses and removes makeup. So I bought this and as you can see, I only bought this probably the beginning of the month and I've used that much. I just really, really love it. So I just put it on with a cotton pad put it on a cotton pad and then rub it on your face and it really does take off all your makeup you might need to do kind of like two applications of it but it really I find that this refreshes my skin a lot more than a face wipe does it feels really nice refreshed and cool it really gets off any makeup it removes waterproof mascara and yeah I just think it's a great product I think it's probably about £4 maybe, I'm not too sure, but like I say, simple products really get along with my skin, so that's why I wanted to try this one. So yeah, if you're looking for an alternative to the Garnier one, if you don't like it, or if you just want to check out different ones, definitely check out that one, because I've been really enjoying using it, and I think it works really well, so yes. Next is a perfume, so basically... I've been wearing this most days when I go to work. When I go to work, I'm, I've got some nice expensive perfumes, but I've also got some cheaper ones as well. And I've been wearing my slightly cheaper one to work because I don't want to use up all my nice expensive ones just going to work. <clears throat> so I've been using this little, this little bad boy. And this one is from Next. I kept the box to show you and it's their gold one. I'll move my face out of the way, that's it. And I love the packaging for a start. Can we just say that is really, really nice. Now it says on here that the top notes are grapefruit, mandarin, ylang, and I can't even say those. I'm just going to hold it up for you guys and you can maybe pause it and have a read. So yeah, it's saying it's a dazzling fragrance with golden flower nectars, gloriously sweet vanilla and molten amber. So if you like a scent with those in, you'll probably like this. Basically, I smelt this on a friend from work and I said, oh, what perfume are you wearing? And she told me. So I went out and picked it up. <coughs> so the bottle's just like that. This is the 30ml. It just smells really nice. It obviously smells of those notes, which I probably would never have able, been able to describe to you unless the box had told me. But yeah, if you're looking for a nice cheap perfume that has good staying power, definitely look at Next because I think this was probably about six, six or eight pounds, which is a bargain really for a perfume, especially if you just want to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. And the packaging is really, really nice. So I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for a cheap perfume. And finally, this is a random one. Because I've started my new job, I have to drive a little bit further than I normally would. So I made a couple of CDs with the chart music on because I love listening to music in my car whilst driving. I could never drive anywhere, even if I was just going around the corner, I couldn't drive anywhere without music. It would just be weird. 
I don't know, I love music. So, as well as making new CDs, I've also been listening to the old classic CDs. <clears throat> I pulled these out of the box and I was like, I will listen to these on my longer car journeys. So, the now CDs, what classic CDs these are. When I was a young, when I was a youngster, I used to collect these. And this probably isn't that old, so... But I have got down to, I think there's now 39 downstairs. But yeah, so basically I've been playing these in my car... Now 54, now 57, now 55. It's just got some old classic tunes on. And I'll show you. Don't know if you can see. Let's list some of these classics. Tattoo, all the things she said. Justin Timberlake, like I love you. There's just, I'm not going to read all the songs. That would be weird and boring. But yeah, you've all probably heard of the Now CDs. And I just feel like it's good sometimes to get out an old classic and have a little bop in your car and enjoy life on the way to work or on the way back because let's face it going to work isn't really that fun so listening to some good old tunes is a great way to make me feel good in the morning so yeah I'm gonna stop talking about old music and now CDs and I'm going to go but thank you very much for watching this video if you would like to see now I can't remember if I've mentioned this because I tried to film this before. Basically, I'm thinking of filming a wardrobe tour and organisation video. If I've already mentioned it, just ignore me. But, so yeah, I'm thinking of filming my wardrobe, what I've got in it, maybe saying some of my favourite pieces to wear. So, if you're interested in that, give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do it. I'm really excited and I've got lots of video ideas that I would like to do. So yes, thank you very much for watching my video, I hope you're all having a great weekend and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye guys!